range. Let me just show you as to what a range is. Here, you see, I have uh, defined a range of five list list one. Just trying and convert it to list, and then it gives me it gives me this output. Okay, let me say a range. Let me just show you as to what a range is. If I give a range of ten, what what will be the output? It will give me zero, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. That means it is giving me a range of zero to nine. Let's say if I do a range of five to ten, what does it give me? It gives me five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I'm I'm trying to explain you uh, range with data. Okay, let me say I say one to ten, and then does this make sense to you guys now? See here, if I just give range, if I just give range, it will give me starting from zero. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. If I say a range of five to ten, it will give me starting from five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I say a range between one to ten, and you know the spacing between every two letters or whatever it is is two here, right? So it'll say one, three, five, seven, nine. So basically, that is what it has been explained here. So you know what a range stop is, range start and stop, and then range start stop step cannot be zero. Default is one, right? The step it has to be one or greater than one. As the name suggests, a sequence is a succession of values bound together by container that reflects the type. So almost every string that you put in in Python is is a sequence right it can be either list tuple string right they are all a sequence basically at the end of the day and and x range python supports several of these strings list tuples and x range these are the type of sequence that python supports python has a uh, python has a lot of methods for form, for and formatting operations that it can perform on these okay so let's let's see one by one as to what each can, one does. So list is something. Right. Uh, let me go here. In this is sequence. So if I say, you know, just range of five, right? Let's say for example here. You see this. A list is in a square braces. Okay. If you see an output of something like this. It is called a list. If I say just range of five, it is, it becomes a list. But then if I say tuple of range of five, then you see this. It's inside parenthesis. Okay. Then it's not a list. It becomes a tuple in that case. But for now, let's understand list. List is anything that is inside a square braces, and it can be accessed individually by its index number. Let's say, for example, in my list one, which is list of five, right? If I say list one here, you have zero, one, two, three, or five, and then I can say list one of zero will give me the first element. List one of one will give me the second element. List one of two will give me third element, so on and so forth. Okay, that's that's about list. Now let's see what it says. The list type is a container which holds a number of other objects in a given order, right? You have zero, one, two, three, four index. The list type implements the sequence protocol and it allows you to add or remove objects from the sequence. Okay, so we'll see as to how do you add and remove from list. A list is an ordered set of elements enclosed in square braces. That that's what I told you, right? When you see when you do a list, if you get something within square braces, that is a list okay and you can convert any other even you can convert a string into list as well let's say for example i have a equal to some example and then if i say a it's an example so if i if i want to convert this to list i did that successfully right i can convert every i can convert a string to a list i can convert a tuple to a list I I can convert anything to a list, okay, and that's how simple it is in Python, okay. So if you 
if you can access each of this item individually you know look at the amount of operations that you are uh, amount of code that you are saving when you actually have to uh, you know uh, slice it and dice it and then maybe only find out l if there is l in this uh, you know the whole example right in this whole sentence if you are trying to find a word you know, look at the amount of uh, effort you are saving there now you have seen this list list if you have all um, you know let me take a nice example so that i'll i'll explain to you as to what you know some more operations on on list now if i do this and then i say list 3 it gives me everything now i can also you know there are some more other things that i can do i can say list of okay what will this give me okay just understand this I have not given anything okay here the end is empty right the end is empty it says 2 to infinity it will just say 0 1 2 and it will just pull the data to whatever is there right now if I say 2 to 3 what does it give then it just gives me data sign yes you are right Prasant you are right Vishnu so when I say 2 to 3 because the way this list work is right from 2 and you just take one more right 0 1 2 that that's about it if I say 2 to 4 1 2 3 4 right it will just say data science and pig if I say 2 to 5 it will give me data science pig and high right there are total 5 items and it starts with 0 1 2 right 2 to 5 will give me 2 3 2 and plus 3 which is 5 okay so that's how uh, you know list are structured list is very powerful you can uh, access the items individually from list you can also use uh, operators like you know you can use colon and then find out the range of data in between uh, the two uh, data inside your list so there are a lot of things that you can do in uh, using list and then now let's say it gives me the length is 5 right you can even find out the length of the list you can you can find out the index by you know you just uh, you can find you can give start stop and then find out uh, the value like what what I did you know 2 2 4 3 2 5 etc you can say uh, list of uh, and I've been doing this over and over again list 3 of you give the index and then you get the value right that's also done this index and this is slicing list index again here list I will return the value of the in a index where I is an integer right whatever so you know this when you say list list of 1 or 2 you get that value a negative list you see this is also one important thing okay let's say I want to access from uh, start right how, how would you do that you would first say you want to access the last element so how would you do that you say list of three and then and then on top of that I would say length of list three and then minus one right so it gives me my last element See, instead of writing so big a code, right, you're just finding the length minus 1. Yes, uh, Raghavendra, that's, that's true. So all you have to do is, instead of all this, I say list minus 1. Okay, I want to find last but 2, list minus 2. Last but 3, list minus 3, right? So that's how I'll be able to pull out the data from list.